Yo, Spin Snaker here, come at you with part three of Watch Me Build Winter Soldier. Sorry, it's been quite a while. As I did say in my previous video, my girlfriend moved in and we've had a lot going on. We've been doing so much, trying to finesse things and finagle things and whatnot. Plus, I know I'm not 100% confident doing this kind of stuff in front of people yet, so I've got to wait till she's not here, which she currently isn't, so yay. And I don't have any space to do it where I'm currently living until we move out, so apart from here, so we shall see you soon. Hopefully, soon we're gonna have our own place and have a lot more space. So, yes, part three or four. We're in part four, aren't we? I forgot. No, part four. I'm sure, part four. I don't know. Whatever. Part whatever comes here. Uh, <laughs> Once again, you may have some pine in the background. Uh, her dog is here as she's currently at work today. It's my day off. And the dog is a lot more comfortable with me since I last did my last recording, so she's quite content and just like dozing. So, no problems there. Yeah, my apologies for just a massive delay. I've just been so busy with work with um, my girlfriend and everything basically. I don't get much free time, so yeah. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> it's just stuff that needs to be done. Just it's uh, frustrating when I want to finish things up like this and my Ninja Turtle. And for those of you inquiring, I will be coming around to get doing the Donatello. I just really want to get this one out of the way because, to be honest, it doesn't need much more doing and then I can just paint him and he's done. Whereas Donatello still needs a hell of a lot more work and a lot more to think about, which I'm just not sure about. I've also done another Watch My Build which I haven't uploaded because I kind of got stuck. So I'm still thinking about that. So, previously in Watch Me Build, uh, we attached all the weapons. Uh, so we've got the knife, the gun, the gun. Well, he's holding that one. And then on the back, we have the double knives and then the mp5 clipped in there couple of gripes so far uh, this is not staying as snug as I like I mean the holder I've put on is holding fine but the gun just keeps kind of like slipping out of it and then it's just like like that I still not too sure it'll fall out but I don't like that um, I might reattach it to make it a bit more like horizontal so the gun can go in a bit more vertically we'll see um, for now it kind of does clip in, but it's gonna, if I, whoop, if I do paint it, then it's gonna just rub it straight off. I could leave it silver, I guess. Um, now, as you may notice, I've taken this one off. I've had quite a bit of problem with this little pistol is starting to annoy me. Uh, the problem I had was the barrel came off again. It was very, it, unfortunately when I cut it, I didn't line it up quite, so the base goes gluing like that. So there's this big gap, and then I put any pressure and it just kind of snapped right off. So I've made it as flat as I can, and i put a bit extra glue in it. It looks a bit ugly up close, but not too bad from a distance. And once I'm painting it, you won't be able to notice it that much. But it's quite strong now, and it's still pretty good. But you've also noticed that I've taken it off of the holster. I just did not like the way it was just there. I didn't like it. So what I might do, I still want to keep it, is I might just... Oh, the other thing was, when I tried to take it out, it basically just came out like that. And so it wasn't very strong, so I'm leaning on the the rest of the tripod um, so what I'm what I might do is basically just put it there but just try and make this bit as flat as possible maybe take out a bit there because there's quite a lot of rubber there I could probably take out plus there's quite a lot of rubber there I could take out and I might be able to get it as flat as I possibly can and I'm probably gonna work on that today and then hopefully I really want to get at least an undercoat done today and I need to tape him up I need to get I need to get some paint in this Stupidly, I was thinking about this actually. I, I just watched my part three and I was like, put the belt on so I could get it all in. I was like, yeah, and then I was thinking, I've got to paint it. You idiot. So I'm probably going to take this off, paint it, and then reattach it. We'll see. Because I still I don't want this like floating like that. So I think I might just glue that to the leg, glue the belt down, and just rely on the uh, flexibility of the rubber for the movement. Because it's still quite free. We shall see. I could always just cut cut the rubber, uh, the straps off, or I don't know. I don't know. And of course, yeah, I, I gave him this. This is annoying me as well. I, d I don't like this hand. I know it's kind of accurate, but it's too narrow for these hands, so I might have to alter it. Speaking of which, I also know something else. These ones also incredibly narrow. As you see, that's really loose in there, really loose. So what I might do is get some thread. And just wrap it around a few times just to thicken it up, give him something to grip onto. Shouldn't take break away from the look, and it should really help him hold it for like action poses and whatever. 
so I think I'll do that as well today. So as per usual what we'll do is we'll move the camera hopefully be able to see a bit clearer I'm trying to work with this it's, it's very difficult I've got a bit more freedom in my camera so what I might try and do is put my desk lamp here uh, over here so you can't see that and then put my up light over this side so then I can do the camera from this angle hopefully that might I don't know we'll try something but before I do as I said in my previous video my tripod holder kind of exploded and I had to hold it to go super glue and hot glue I've got a new one yay uh, we have a, a shop over in the UK called The Poundland, and I just picked this up from there. Uh, I literally saw it as I went in there, and I was like, oh, uh, that'll do. You know, in America, I'm sure you have like a dollar store or things like that, a 99 cent store, things like that. I don't know. But yeah, I picked, picked one up here. Here's my old one. I managed to redo it before I did, which annoyed me because I wasted all this hot glue trying to fix this. I just kind of went ridiculously crazy on hot glue, as you can see. And it just screws in here, and this springs up, and it, you clip the phone in there, and it holds it down. Uh, yeah, this basically opened up and then the spring just went flying and this went shooting out and yeah <sighs> Annoying, but I wasted all this time hot gluing it and then I got a new one which is perfectly good Look, I'm touching tapping the phone. Yeah, you know, so you can see see touching the phone And it's holding it quite nicely. Oh Well, I can bit this now But yeah, I just thought I'd give you a visual representation of what I was working with <laughs> Shocking isn't it? I mean I got this off eBay with the tripod comes with like a mini tripod which I can't seem to see right now um, it's about like yay big and it's got the legs open out and they also extend and it's only like seven seven pound I think something off of eBay so it's, it's worth it and it's done me a treat but now I've got a full tripod which is actually touching the ground and actually this is one I've kind of <laughs> engineered I, I will show that at a later date so yeah we're all good we're secure we're good to go so Let's rearrange and then we'll get cracking into this. All right, and we are back. Let's try and get a bit of focus going on now. I'll do my best to try and keep a closer eye on the camera. We're gonna try this angle, see if it's any better. As unfortunately, I felt I kept kind of like going off the corner when I was doing when the camera was over here. So my apologies for that. I'm, it's it's a difficult process when you're trying to keep things on camera. Incidentally, my buddy Anthony from Anthony's Customs has also done some of these. Watch me. Well, he's done much of his sculpts, and that guy's amazing. I mean, I've, I'm not very good at art. I like doing things like this. It doesn't take... You don't need to be massive. Or, you don't have to be really good at art to be able to do things like this. As long as you've got kind of a decent hand, you know what you want in the end, it's not too bad. But he's amazing, and he did this Watch Me sculpt of this torso, and it just looked phenomenal. I mean, it really is amazing. Check him out, Anthony's Customs. I'll put a link in the description below. Great guy. He's been... Uh, if you haven't seen any of his reviews or any of his custom work, then you, you've been... Where have you been? The guy's in phenomenal, phenomenal. Do, 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 do. No, he's uh, phenomenal. So anyway, let's crack into this. So like I said, first thing we're gonna do is try and attach this on here. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and scrape away as much of this as we can, scrape away as much of this as we can, and try and make it as flat as we can without looking too ridiculous. Yeah. But I was thinking I'm gonna take this off, so I might take this off to do it, so I don't have to work with a figure. So it shouldn't be too difficult. He says optimistically. <clears throat> I need my knife. What well, helps? I got my my favourite knife out. <sighs> Such a fool sometimes. Okay, so fast forward. <laughs> Okay, so we got this off. Yay, not too bad, nice and easy, bit of glue, done, dusted, quite a secure thing, should be fine. Now, we're gonna try and scrape this off first, see what we can do. Really don't know what I'm gonna get off of it, it's quite, there's not much to work with, but we'll try. Just make it a bit easy to get in and out. There you go. Right, next. We need to reduce this. So I think if I put it there, it might not be too bad. So I'm just gonna draw a line in the sand, so to speak, and just shave it from there. <laughs> Oh, 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 
Right. Give me the give me give me the gun. <laughs> okay. Let's give it this. The beauty about today is I can just sweep straight on the floor because I'm hoovering as soon as I finish this video. <laughs> yeah, I know. There we go. I need tissue. Alright, I need to glue this back together because unfortunately I messed up. It happens. Just need a little smidge of glue. Alright, I'll put something on that to rest on that. I'll get my clamps out. There you go. Get the old clampies out. That'll be fine. Put them up the rest. And then we'll attempt to see what it's like. I really do like that one. I just wish it was a bit snugger in it. It likes to fall out. Right. Fred! Knives. I think I'm literally just gonna get a bit like that. Gonna grab a knife. <laughs> do it double layered but you can't really tell from looking at it uh, we will zoom because I can't actually bring it closer focus focus your silly thing not focused tell it's pretty good so I'll do is put another blob of glue over top of it and we'll go around again <laughs> Let's see how this looks. That ain't too bad. Let's put the gun in and see what happens. <clears throat> Fingers crossed. While that's drying, while that's drying. The reason I didn't do them both at the same time, because if that just doesn't work and it looks rubbish, then I don't have to undo both. I've only got to do one. And if you remember, I only have these two knives. I don't have any more of these, so I can't just like grab another knife like this. The bucket cap knife. Oops. 
Oh, much better. Holds it perfectly. Yeah, there you go. You see? Perfect. Whereas if I get the other one, put it in this hand. Alright, it's actually in there pretty nice, but slightest little thing that's out. This one, it's in there quite nicely. So, all I need to do is cut this little bit of string off. That's good to go. So let us repeat the same cause of action to our knees. I don't know why I'm talking French. I think it's because I had a French customer call me up at work the other day and it just threw me off. I wasn't expecting it. We generally just get English customers. I have nothing against French people whatsoever. Um, I'm not racist in the slightest. It just, just threw me off. I wasn't prepared for it. I don't know why. It stuck with me. I won't give his full name, but his, his first name was Jean Luc. And I was like, oh, he's like, do you know how to spell that? And I was like, uh, yeah, I'm pretty confident I could spell Jean-Luc. <laughs> For those of you who don't get that, go watch some Star Trek. Insane, I want to know how you guys feeling about Star Wars. I recently just watched all the, uh, well, all six films. I even watched The Clone Wars and I'm watching Star Wars Rebels. Enjoying, enjoying um, Clone Wars and Rebels a lot more than I thought I would. I'm not a massive Star Wars fan, uh, like I've got uh, the Jedi in the 6 inch black series, I've got Yoda, it's my latest acquisition, my lovely lady brought me now. Um, we've got that from Toys R Us, heads up Toys R Us have a sale on right now, um, so as of today's date there is a sale at Toys R Us for Star Wars black series at £14.99. I don't know what they'd be in your own country. So yeah, I was saying I've got uh, some of the Star Wars Black series. I've got Yoda, which my lovely girlfriend got me. Um, so I'm quite happy with that. Yoda, I'm a bit like a bit blah. I want to kind of mm, customise a few things about him. I mean, he looks cool, but yeah. I've got Darth Vader. I've got Darth Maul. Then I've got Obi-Wan Kenobi. And then I've got Luke Skywalker in his black suit, not his like grey or his flight suit. Yeah, I've only got the Jedi. I didn't really get into them that much. I don't like Star Wars that much, so I wanted them all. Although they are very good figures, and I'm thinking of getting the Bounty Hunters as well. But with my new lovely lady, I'm also getting very restricted on my spending. Like, I've literally just ordered the Marvel Legends 4-pack from Age of Ultron, the one that comes with 4, Banner, Black Widow, and Hawkeye. And, yeah, that took a lot of persuading for my lovely lady to agree to it, because she's not strict or anything, and she doesn't mind me buying things. It's just... We're trying to save up to move house. Move house? Move house. So we're obviously trying to be really careful of our spending. So I said to her, can I like go a bit crazy and buy this? And she was like, no. And I was like, but it's an exclusive. And if I leave it, it's going to double in price. She's like, fine, go ahead. And I was like, okay, thank you. <laughs> Just want to give you a bit of insight to my little personal laugh there. Yeah, I mainly want that pack for four. I mean, I've got the Black Widow and I've got the Hawkeye ready. I'll be selling my Hawkeye if anyone's interested. Uh, it's Hawkeye with shades, not the Hawkeye that comes with pack. I prefer the one without shades. So, if you want a Hawkeye from the Avengers movie that comes with shades, let me know. And we might be able to work something out. Uh, might sell the Black Widow as well, because I've got like three Black Widows. And I've already started customising the Black Widow by giving her holsters. So I might just add the blue lines to that one. So, But I'll be keeping the baton. So if anyone's interested in the Black Widow also... Let me know. So you can have the Black Widow with the blue lines and any other accessories she comes with besides the batons, I'll be keeping them. Look at that. I'm going to do this with the Necca knives because that's the worst thing about the Necca knives is they're just so tiny on the handle. And yeah, if you 
you can sculpt wherever you want, but the more you sculpt, the worse it's going to look, and sculpting will peel off. Whereas the string is pretty sturdy, and it won't really come off with these black string like this, I don't even have to paint it. So I don't have to worry about it chipping in the paint or anything like that. What's he doing? Looks like he's doing Superman, doesn't he? Alright, this should dry by now. Let's have a look. That comes out pretty good. That comes out pretty good. <laughs> this little torture here gives me so much problems. I could cut off the flashlight, to be honest. I might even do that. What do you reckon? Should I cut off the flashlight? Bit here, and just leave this bit. Or should I cut off the whole thing? Or should I just work with it? We'll leave it for now. Let's work with it. What do you reckon? Is that too chunky? Let's have a look. So once that's glued on his leg, with the light over so you can see. Why that one in my face? So, yeah, once that's glued on his leg, that's what it looked like. It's a bit chunky. Excuse the lamp in the corner there. But I don't think it's that bad. It's not that bad, really, is it? Yeah, sort of. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Alright, done. Done. Knife done. So it's always weird that these knives, one goes in one and one goes in the other and they won't, there's no, you can only do one in one, it's so weird when they should be identical. Right, is that dry? Let's try. Let's get this out of the way. Cut a little bit of thread off. I love how super glue dries so quick, especially these are hot lights, it dries it really quick. Right, let's have a look, how does he hold it? Uh, really snug, look, pick up on that. Let's do the way around. Again, I'm picking up by the knife. Check the other hand. Awesome, absolutely awesome. Worst case scenario, if this comes on thread, all I can do is put a bit back, bit, 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 put a little bit more back on. Done. Jobs done, jobs are good and loving it. Loving it like that. Done, done. This knife, also, this one wasn't too bad, this one was fine, wasn't it? It's not as snug, I could maybe do one if I really wanted to, but I think it should be acceptable. Yeah, it's a bit loose. Ah, oh, sorry, I'm just going to do it. Put, we'll put one on. One row, run, we'll put one, one, what do you want to call it, one, one, one twist. <laughs> I'm just making this up as I'm going along, in case you couldn't tell. So one of the worst things I'm having about doing these YouTube videos is if you notice I've been putting music over the fast forward bits because I could just leave it without music and just do the fast forward and hear the noises of me scraping away and that but I think that'd be a bit more boring. So I've been doing music but of course you have to pay for licenses for music so you can't just use any music you want. Uh, I found a lot of websites which have have free licensed music and even YouTube itself does have like a section which is dedicated to free licensed music music and it's been very helpful hey uh right i'm sorry about that my video basically stopped recording just so i was starting to wind up the knife here so i did that and i've just taken sort of back i was literally saying that i am that i'm i'm going to be moving this basically because i was trying to show you guys the reason i'm so zoomed in is because basically that when this goes in let me clip this up yeah, when this goes in, it basically clips on this little notch here, just where my nail is. You can see past the wavy lands, and it goes out. But it's very easy to come out, and then it just wobbles around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this whole thing off, and I'm going to put the whole thing in basically vertically like that. I might do it at a slight less angle, 
so they can clip in and if it falls out it doesn't matter because it's going to be in a lot more I can't think of anything else to do and that's what I was literally doing and then I noticed that we weren't recording anymore so sorry about that I ran out of space on my phone so I've had to delete some old videos which I forgot to delete it's basically my last recording of this I forgot to delete it Right, let's put him back on him. This weird little holster thing, which I see doesn't have any holsters on it. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Why am I doing Scottish? What is wrong with me today? I've been watching this comedian uh, called uh, Danny Boy. B H O Y E, I think it is, Danny Boy. And basically, he's, he's a Scottish comedian, but. He, he does really, really great accents. He's very good at them. Whereas I'm not. I'm, I'm terrible at accents. Well, no, that's not true. I, I, I'm, I like to say I'm fairly good at them, but I'm not not great. But no, he's brilliant. <laughs> he does got his sketch. He does like um, the Australian one really well. Right. That that that's a bit better. I wasn't very happy with the angle of it anyway, so yeah, we'll, we'll do that. I'm going to leave those little bits of blur on there because they help towards the angle and they're quite secure on there, so I'm not worried about them falling off. So we put the, is there a really little bit of stable on the crap. Right, that's. There you go. That would be a lot better. Right, so you know exactly what's happened. See, it's come loose, but it's still in there, and it, I'm not worried about it falling out, because before, when it came loose, it was basically coming out like this, so at least this way it's still, like, in the right angle. And then it's got to clip it in like that, and then it's perfectly straight up. Ah, oh, you like that. That's really good, isn't it? What do you think? You good? I apologise for offending any Scottish people. <laughs> I don't mean to. I'm just in a weird one today. Sleep deprived. Right, I'll take this off. We'll get them all nuddy and naked. Alright, let's check out this knife. Nice and dry now. Oh yeah, much better. Nice, easy, nice, tight. Alright, let's cough. It's a little bit of thread. Speaking of nud and naked, I've been watching Game of Thrones, just started that, I've not seen any Game of Thrones before, uh, me and my girlfriend we started watching that, we're in season one, and I've got to say, loving it, great story, but my god, I've I've never seen so much sex in a TV series in my life, and it's kind of like wrong sex as well, it's just like brothers and sisters and things like that, so yeah, but if you can get past that, great show, uh, so much story, so much going on in it, it's really is a great great show right done 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 are we done is everything done hold the phone gentlemen let's have a look here so that's done that just needs reattaching that's a nice and easy paint job that's done that needs attaching done done oh my god did the handles we're done oh you can't see any of that can you we are actually done so this is ready to go all reattached all done that's ready to go, that just clips on, so we glue that, but we'll do that, that clips on. These go in there. That's awesome. Right. So, that just leaves one wee little thing, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to do. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video here, and I'm going to get a quick reminder of the colour scheme of him, and I think we might be able to start painting. I need to check my paints, I haven't used them in a while, so they might have dried out. I'll have to have a look. I'll be back. Okay, so we are back with the second half of part four. Uh, I've basically had some lunch and I have removed some stuff off of like this thing, so I'm not going to have problems recording, which is good because like normally, like here you guys can't see it, but it says record currently 26 seconds. Stroke 35 minutes tells me how long I've got to record from the amount of space. Now it's saying nothing, so I can go for as long as I like. Well, I mean, not for as long as I like, but whatever. I've also been looking at the pictures, reviewing them. Now, I forgot this thing I wanted to add to the belt. Um, he does have two grenades here and here. And I did have a character, 
which had them. I remember who it is now. I, I was going to say, I can't remember who I gave them to, but I just remembered. I'll be back in a second. Well, that's somewhat frustrating. I don't know if anyone else has this problem, but whenever I'm trying to find a certain figure, like one figure in all my collection, all my boxes, I just can't seem to find that one figure, that one part. Even though I was like 99% sure I knew where it was, turns out it wasn't there. So, crap. Oh well, live and learn, keep on going, keep on rolling, all that crap. So, we're going to attempt, and I say attempt, to paint the good old Winter Soldier here. Uh, we may have to cut this video short, it depends on the quality of my paint, I honestly haven't checked. We're going to tape him, and I'm looking at some pictures here. I'm just not sure on the colour of his boots, I was actually going to have a look at another one quickly. Seems like his boots are pretty much black. Everything seems to be black. What about the Hot Toys? What colour is the Hot Toys boots? They are black, but with a bit of like brown rubbed into them. So, from what I can tell, basically, this is actually black, not brown, but it's got a very faint, like, brown, like, worn look around the edges of, like, the buckles and that. These are pure black, and these are basically black with some, like, wear and tear on them. Both the boots and that. So, but this is gloss, this is matte, matte and gloss. I'm going to can, I think I'm not going to bother painting the trousers. I think I'm just going to focus on doing the top and see what we can do. So let's get to the masking. So let's get the camera out of the way and then we'll get Korak in. Okay, so now we're in a different position. Let's start masking taping this guy. Okay, now, um, these are actually black blades in the movie. That needs to be painted, this needs to be black. This needs to think, technically I could glue this on if I wanted to, I might do that now so I can just paint it straight on there. It doesn't need to be a separate piece. I'm not quite sure why they gave us this as a separate piece, to be honest. This needs painting. That light is giving me more and more problems. Right, so this needs painting black. Everything on here needs to be painting black. That whole thing. Black. And then this needs to be silver. This needs to be black. This. I might leave this as it is. Oh, I suppose I could do a tidying up the handle. That's got to be silver. Go on that side. Now the knives. I might just leave them as they are. It's a kind of similar colour. And this is such a tight fit in the little sheath. I'm worried I doubt the paint will come through so I'll leave them. It's got to be black. Okay. That's basically it. 
So we'll have the coat. Let's see the quality of our paints. Okay, when painting you need paintbrush, water and tissue. Lots of tissue. You want to, if you make mistakes, so we'll have a mistake sheet and we also want a wiping sheet when we're done. All right. Now I'm going to do an underbrush and undercoat as well. I've got this rough brush. It's just going to literally be I'm put that a bit closer. Hopefully you guys can see this. Right, I don't want a lot, I'll let you just do an undercoat. So let's go all the way back, can't go any further, and get there. Now, what you really should do is wash your figures with soapy water and then let them dry so you get all the oils and everything. But I've had this for a while, it's been collecting dust, there's not much oils in it. It's basically gives a new figure. Um, a lot of people do it with all their figures, but to be honest, I've never really been one to do that probably would help with the actual adhesiveness of the paint but I don't know I've managed to get by without doing it Right, so as you can see, we've done the undercoat of just the soldier. I know I've got some grey on his trousers, but I'm not too worried because I can easily pick that off or paint over it, it should be fine. Just refill in my little paint pot. You guys can't see that, it's just the lid of these paints, just in case you guys are wondering. A lot of people ask what paints I use. These are just some really cheap, these are really, really cheap from uh, my local hobby shop, which I just closed down, so I can't get these anymore. Uh, I wouldn't advise them, but look, this cost me £1.25 for this big old tub. Normal ones I use, I'll grab the one. These ones I think are really good. Uh, like I said, they're called Revel, and this is my, I don't know how well you can see that, but it says matte black on there, and it also says Schwaz, whatever, German I think it is. But, yeah, these I think are the best ones, and they're like cylinder tubs, but they've got like a block square casing for some reason, I don't know why. But they're pretty cool, they fit in your tub a lot easier, maybe that's why. Failing out some Games Workshop ones, uh, these are from Citadel Paints. Now you get them in Gaines Workshop. These ones, the tubs don't look like this anymore. They've changed them uh, last year, I think, or a year before, I'm not sure. But, yeah, you can get all kinds. Or even... Umbral Enamel. Here is my gloss varnish. I'll be using this uh, later. Probably for his vest, I'll be using this. Now... A lot of people, when they do the undercoats, they choose an aerosol spray. I've tried that, but I got a wrong spray, and basically when I did it, it just came out um, sticky. Now, you shouldn't actually leave brushes standing on their bristles. You basically should wash them and take them straight out. But this is not brush, I don't really care about it to be honest. I've got plenty others. 
Right, now on to the harnesses. These are going to be a pain in the bum to do. I'm not worried about painting the inside because I'm going to be gluing these, so basically I just need to worry about doing the uh, outside. It's really difficult. I'm trying to get the light right where it's out of my way. Ideally, no, no, no. let's try that. How's that? Can you see? I think you can see. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and we are back once again. This time it wasn't a, no a phone call, it was a knock at the door. My lovely mother. Yeah. Okay, continuing. Uh, I was trying to say also, as you can see, I've not really done a, a very, very strong coat with this, because an undercoat, uh, to me, you don't need to be that strong. So long as you get something on there just for the paint to stick, then it's all right. But my brother always said to me, the more paint you put on, the less detail you get. So that's why I am trying to be minimal with the undercoats. So, the arm's done, they're all done. Just want to finish up these boots and then I'm going to do the accessories. Oh, if I may hear in the background, my uh, girlfriend's dog currently has her bone. So is gnawing away at that, so that's what that sound is. Terrifying, because you hear like a crack in that. You think, oh my god, it's their teeth, but it's not. Okay, so that's all the painting and whatnot done. Well, undercoat him. Right, okay, so we'll go with this fairly, fairly fine angled brush. Not too detailed, not too fine. Because we're not really doing any major fine work. In fact, I might go for one a bit bigger. Um, we will actually. Okay, so I'm going to go for this brush. But once you uh, get it down, pretty decent head on it so I can then start painting. So I'm going to be quite thorough with the black. Let's see what the black's like. This is a black that I've already opened. Quick shake. I don't feel like anything shaking in there. Oh, lots of cracking. Mm. Right, it's going to have to be a cocktail stick. See, I haven't used these in such a long time. Oh, look at that. I don't think I can use this one. We'll try, we'll see what we can recover. Not too worried, I've got a new one here, not open, so that should be fine. Let's see, we get anything from it? Put a splidge of water in it, put a bit too much in it though, it's gone a bit watery. Now I think I'm just gonna cut my losses in this one and bin it. Yeah, I will do. You stay there. Ah, shame. All right, moving on. Grab a knife. Exacto knife. Color knife. Right, there we go. Let's give this one a good old shake. Squidgy, squidgy. So I just bin this. A black cocktail stick, get some more tissue. Good old kiss, kiss you, apparently, kiss you. All right, if the rotate, it says rotate. There we go. 
see this is one of the main reasons why I like this is you can clip that in there and then you've got a lot if you need it or just a little bit and your lids there so we'll put this here and put that there and then we'll grab this guy right up there and then here we go Done mainly his vest, not finished that, still need to do the joints, still need to do the touch ups. Now we're going to move on to his belt. I like it where it's nice and simple, just one colour. Okay, I'll come back and do that one in a sec. Moving on to the next one. Problem is, with this thing up here, causing all this heat, the paint is in my brush is drying out very quick, so I'm going to constantly dab, 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 dab. Just do what I can. What I got. Oh my god, look at my fingers. That was quite messy, that one. Right, guns. This is going to be silver. Oh, I forgot to finish. Oh, that'll be alright. Just clip. This is going to be black. This. Do you know what? I'm going to leave it there because I've been recording for quite a while and I've got to do a lot of other things today and I've lost all the day basically doing this. There's so many problems with it. Um, so we're going to leave it there. So stay tuned for part five and we'll come back and we'll finish up and hopefully get this guy done. Yeah. What?
sorry. Uh, yeah, that's the plan. We'll come back part five and hopefully get this all finished and done and dusted. I won't be touching anything else until I come back on. Hopefully, I might be able to get a bit more done today. We shall see. I've got a lot of things to need to do. Although, I do have most of the day free to myself later on. We shall see. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. Please leave me any comments below. Let me know what you think of this. I hope you enjoy these watch me builds. Um, I really want to. I'm enjoying doing it. I've just literally, like, last night, I got another eye popped in my head. Quite a simple one, like this. Won't take too much. I could probably pop it out in one episode, maybe. Maybe one or two episodes, I don't know. We, we might try. I have, it depends on a few variables. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Um, but, yeah. Let me know what you think of this. I'm, I'm enjoying doing this. I really am. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's a bit annoying. It's more painstaking than doing uh, normal. Because when I do do these things normally, is basically... Uh, I'll have about four different projects going at once. So I'd have like Spider Man and Winter Soldier and I don't know, Captain America, Hulk. So I'd, I'd, I'd be doing multiple at once. So to focus solely on one, it's weird because normally, like, say this is while I'm waiting for this to dry, I'll do something else on someone else. And I could do that with this, but it would make the video very com complicated and I wouldn't be able to stop start different videos. It would it'd be a pain in the bum. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, all in all, quite happy so far. Love to know what you guys think, and as per usual, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please drop me a like down below. Please also comment and subscribe, and yeah, I'm going to catch you in my next one. See ya!